Pound Mark, number two. Monkey with a spanner here. We're talking about upper body armor. Now we've talked about the breast and back, the cuirass, on a separate video. For this one we're talking about the placket, the, the lower body, the abdomen and uh, the pelvis area, the, the groin. So, these are again pretty much the same thing. You can see slight differences in the shape. So this one, for example, is a smooth line straight out, whereas this one, scalloped and then straight down. So if you imagine that going straight up, that would be the same line, but it's got the scoops out of it. Um, they're both dished to deflect blows again. So any blows coming in are gonna be deflected away. A little bit of a detail here, but nothing on this particularly. It's got the edges and the top corners taken off. The part that again becomes involved is the part from here downwards, the fold, because it folds. And it concertinas up very nicely. There's another lane there, look. So there's another one in there hidden. So this is very useful for a rider. Uh, once you're on foot, it should drop down, give you very good protection to the groin. But if you're riding or you need to lift your legs for whatever reason, it folds up completely out of the way and shouldn't restrict you at all. The same will apply to both of them here. So with a fold here, concertinas very nicely, but this one has a little male fringe hanging on the bottom, but very Italian in its style. Even so, they're still very similar. You can see the point work in the center and on the edges. But again, I think these are both made by Josh again, aren't they? Yes, Davis and Davis, yes. Both made by Josh. Round the back, pretty much the same deal. And again, we still have that folding fold made up of various lames. If you think of the word laminate, these are the lames, these are the laminations, and they just help you to move. Now inside, again we have the hinge on the left side of your body. We don't want the weak spot being onto here. The majority of the blows are going to come in with a right-handed attacker, which means you're going to receive blows on your left. So the hinge on your left side, leaving all the straps to do it up on the right-hand side. So just buckles. Some are joined up with a, a pin, which is relying on the springiness of the uh, armour. These aren't, they just fold straight over. But again, if we just try to close it, it doesn't want to. So it's relying on a certain amount of the springiness of the metal to hold its shape, and then just buckles up nicely. There are buckles on the bottom, which I'll get onto in a second. These are for the tassels or tases, which hold on, so there'll be one on here, another one on the other side, and on this he also has side tassets as well, and a one to go on the, the rear as well. So the same thing applies on this one, there's space for side tassets on here, and another one at the, at the back as well. We also still have the buckles on the front. Now, on the breastplate, we have the strap here, and the strap here, those are to hold everything together. There's another one on the back, in both cases, but if I just drop the breastplate inside, you'll see it joins up and buckles the top to the bottom. So I'll just put the side strap here for a second. By doing this, one of the things that we achieve is quite a lot of articulation. So by not fixing it rigidly, we have rotation from top to bottom. You can see it is essentially a ball and socket joint. Same thing applies to this one. I've got the strap first of all, just holds its shape together a little bit better. No holes in it, pink. How big are you? This big. Big, that big. Slots in nicely, like a ball and socket joint. So we do up the strap at the front. There's another one at the back. But again, it provides that movement we need. Combined with the fold at the bottom, the whole thing becomes very, very manoeuvrable. 
So again, this idea of a man in armor falling to the ground and not being able to get back up is pretty much ridiculous. Would you wear something that would prevent you getting back up if you fell over? Of course you wouldn't, because you'd get you killed. Why do we suppose that a man in armor is more stupid than you are? So altogether, that protects your body. <sighs> We're nearly getting there. Uh, next one we'll do is about arms and shoulders. What are you looking at, Pink? <laughs>